Hi, in this video we are going to cover four commands which will help us to view the contents of the file, change the password for the user and get system help for learning any command in detail. So the very first command that we are going to cover is head followed by tail, passwd and man. The head command is used to view the initial content of a file. For example, it will give you by default the first 10 lines. Of the first command we are going to discuss is head. Head list the contents of the file, the few beginning lines, by default 10 lines. So every one of you will be having a file etc passwd. The file name is passwd which is inside the directory etc which is inside the directory root. So if I want to view the contents of this file I can use head command. So I'll write head space slash etc slash passwd and by default it is going to list me or show me the first 10 lines inside the file. So this is the use of head. Very useful to view uh, a sample of the content of any file like for example in database files or in or the files which contains uh, are very lengthy or contains a lot of data and you want to just go through the column headings. For example, in database files, you want to know which column is telling me or contains the data about what. So the very first row will be column heading and then you can list a few sample out of that. Right. So head by default is going to give you 10 lines. The next command is the tail. It is similar to the head command, but it will show you the end portion of the file, which means that by default, it will show you the last 10 lines of the file. The opposite to the head command is tail command, which will show the last 10 lines. So for the same file, if I use tail, etc, passwd, so these are the last 10 lines in the file passwd. The next command that we are going to cover is passwd. Passwd command can be used to change the user password. So as a normal user, you can change only your own password, but the root user can change any other user's password. This is a very handy command because in the exam, you will get to create new user or new groups wherein you will be required to change the password for the user. So this is a very useful command from the exam point of view also because in the exam you are sometimes asked to create user accounts wherein you have to change the user password. Then we will use the passwd command to reset or to change the user password. The passwd command is used to reset the user password. As a normal user you can only reset your own user password but the root user has the rights to reset any user's password. Okay. So let us try to reset the password of the current user, current user who am I. So I am doing it for Baljeet, passwd, current password and then it will ask you the new password. So you will not be able to see anything but the password is being typed. So retype it and all authentication tokens updated successfully. Right. If you want to reset the password of any other user in case the normal user forgets the password, then you have to be the root user only. So you can log in to any other terminal with the root user account. So let me do that. So once we are logged into the root user account, so let's suppose I want to reset the password for the user Baljeet. Baljeet has forgotten his password. So we we'll write passwd and then the name of the user. Okay, it will not ask you the old password. It doesn't make any sense because you have already forgotten the old password and root user will not know anyhow what was the old password. So you simply need to provide the new password. Alright, so there are some checks on how much should be the length of the password. So you can follow those. Even if you don't add the root user password, you can force in whatever password you want. So the password has been successfully updated, right? The next command is the man command. The one of the most useful commands, man stands for the manual page. If you want to get any kind of help 
regarding any command, this is your go to point. So, the manual page or the man command contains all the details about any particular command. You can even use this during the exam also. So, let us suppose uh, while performing any question, you are not able to think of or you get into doubt regarding the use of any command, you can refer the manual page and you will get lot of detail about that particular command. So, we will see in detail how this works or how to interpret the manual page. So, let us check the manual page for head command. Now, I have forgotten how to use the head command or I am not aware that what all options can be used with the head command, then I can go to the manual page. It will tell me a few details. So, it tells what the command is all about, output the first part of the file. Synopsis tells how to use the command. So, it says you will write head, you can use certain options, bracket means this square bracket means options are optional. You may use the option, you may not use the option. Dot 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 tells that there can be multiple options and then it will be followed by the file name. Description will detail you about the command. So, it prints the first 10 lines on the standard output. Then you will see the options that you can use. So, you can scroll down with the up and down arrow keys. So, it has a few options here. C, N, C is to list some bytes, N is to list some lines and so on. To come out of the manual page, press Q. Let us clear the screen and try a couple of options here. The most common one might be minus N where you do not want to see the first 10 lines, but let us suppose you want to see first 5 lines for the file etc pass wt. So, you can see only first 5 lines are displayed. Similarly, there is an option minus n for tail also, which you can go through the manual page. This will also display limited lines from the bottom. So, in this case, 2 lines I am going to list. So, you can see that. Similarly, manual page can be used to learn about any command. Let us suppose we go through the manual page for ls. You can see it has a long manual page, probably the longest. There are around 52 options that you can use. You will not be able to utilize all of them, but it is a good practice that you go through the manual page for all the commands that we discuss and try out a few options out of that, right. Manual page is available for the man command also. Okay, there is a manual page for the man command itself. So, that is all for this particular video. In the next video, we are going to cover touch, MKDIR, RM and the RMDIR command.